Hey there guys, how you going? So today we're going to do a lemon and herb Nando's spit roast chicken. It's going to be absolutely awesome. I'm looking forward to it. We've got a little bit of cherry wood there that we've got left over from the last couple of cooks. So we're going to put that on that. So it's going to smoke it up. Absolutely beautiful. So let's have a look at it guys. Here we've got some heat beads on the barbecue. We've just got them in the chimney. Just add them to about a kilo and a half, two kilos worth of heat beads. Rough rule of thumb is use roughly about a kilo's worth of heat beads to a kilo's worth of meat. They're nice and hot, so we'll get stuck into prepping the chickens. Here we've got our two chickens from Coles, and we've just got a couple of packets of the Nando's Peri Peri Rub. So what we're going to do is open up these bags, try not to spill the juice everywhere like I did. Now what we're going to do is just grab some paper towel and just dry off these chickens as well as we can. This will allow the oil and the rub to stay on the chickens a lot better than what they would do if you didn't dry them off. It will also allow the chicken skin to crisp up. Now we're going to apply a decent amount of olive oil to the skin and rub it in to both sides. Making sure that you get between the wings and under the legs. Now I know it's cheating a little bit, but using these Nando Peri Peri rubs, I've had a very good experience from them. My wife absolutely loves them. So what we're going to do here is just break up the packet a little bit before you start sprinkling it on, otherwise it'll come out in chunks. And what you want to do is just cover it evenly as much as you can. Make sure that you save about half for the other side of the chicken. And just make sure you get underneath those wings and around the legs as well. Next what we're going to do is get some twine and we're just going to tie the legs and the wings together. This way they're not going to be flapping around everywhere and also it will stay out of the coals of the charcoal. Best way I've found is to create a loop with your twine and then tie it off to the other leg. Make sure it's nice and tight, do a couple of knots and trim as you go. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I'm going to put the spit roast rod through the cavity of the chicken. The rod will then rest on the twine itself, that way it's going to keep the legs in place and it's not going to move around like crazy. Once that's all done, we're going to move on to the wings. Ideally, I'd do the wings with a longer piece of twine and I'd wrap it around the entire chicken, that way it's going to keep it nice and tight. However, unfortunately I didn't have that much twine. So what we're going to do here is just tuck the wings up so they're up by the neck of the chicken. What we're going to do is wrap it around the actual arms and the body. And then just tie it off and trim the excess twine. So now we're going to stick the spit roast rod into the chicken. We're going to make sure that we've got our first fork on there. And we've roughly set it so it's the right distance from the side. That way it's going to be centered. You want to make sure that you put the twine that's on the legs above the rod. That way it's going to keep it in place the best. Then we're just going to fit our other forks onto the chicken. That way it's going to hold it all nice and snug. And then we're going to put it on the spit roaster. Make sure you don't over tighten the nuts on these forks. Otherwise you might have to adjust it when you get it onto the spit roast. Just finger tight it and then you can adjust it when you get to the spit roaster. Well now that that's all ready, let's put this on the spit roaster and get it started. We have the spit roaster set up to the second level. That way it's going to be a perfect heat for it. And just add a little bit of leftover cherry wood that we had from the last couple of cooks. So it'll give it a nice, lovely, smoky flavour. Now we're going to put the chickens on the spit roaster. 
And here I'm just adjusting the counterweight, that way it's going to be able to rotate freely and balanced. This is just after 15 minutes of being on the spit roaster. You can see the cherry wood's giving it a nice lovely colour and it's going to have a beautiful taste to it as well. So this is about after an hour. So it's ranging between 123 to 140. So what we're going to do is wait another half hour. Now it's been about an hour and a half of cook time. It's starting to look really good. I nearly would say it's ready to pull off, but we're just checking it with the thermometer. I have a feeling that the chicken breast and the thigh is not quite there, but the actual legs and wings look absolutely perfect. Chicken's one of those ones that you really want to make sure that it's around that 160 to 165 point. At least if you pull it off at 160, it should continue to cook to get to about 165. So what I'm seeing here is that it's ranging from about 135 to 155, 160-ish. So parts of the chicken, like the chicken legs and the chicken wings, like I said, is going to be overcooked. But when you factor in that it's got the smoke flavor in it, they're going to be absolutely beautiful anyways. So what we want to do is just wait till the chicken thighs and the chicken breast is up to 160, 165, and then we'll pull them off. After two hours, the chicken's hit about 160 degrees, and it looks absolutely perfect. Well, the chicken's all done. Unfortunately, my GoPro died while I was uh, filming the teardown, so carved it all up. Looks absolutely beautiful. It hit, one, it hit 160 degrees, and it came out absolutely perfect, so that's about 75 degrees Celsius. So I'll just have a try of the chicken. It's absolutely beautiful. Came out perfectly moist. Beautiful flavours and nice crispy skin. Tastes a little bit of the smoked cherry through it. Absolutely awesome. Well, thanks for watching this, guys. I very much appreciate it. There's absolutely beautiful chickens done these ways. So if you want to try it yourself, quite easy. Just get yourself a just get yourself a spit from. Bunnings are, I think, $89 at the moment for a 15 kilo spit. They do an absolute awesome job. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. A lot of you guys haven't subscribed yet, and we'll be bringing out lots of videos like this. Lots of cooking videos, lots of camping, lots of fishing over the next 12 months. So I'll see you guys very soon.